You're listening to Morning Inspiration Radio Show. MorningInspirationRadioShow.com. Now here's your host, Dial Tone, the producer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my special guest is here, and it's time to get into a fantastic interview with another amazing, inspirational person right here on Morning Inspiration Radio Show. Today's guest is the inventor of an amazing product called InstaSteam. InstaSteam is the world's first electricity-free travel steamer. If you travel a lot, one of the biggest inconveniences to deal with is wrinkled clothing while you're traveling, right? Well, InstaSteam provides a unique, simple, and cost-efficient way to remove wrinkles in clothing within minutes. InstaSteam can easily fit into a suitcase without taking up much room. It's eco-friendly, and it's electricity-free portable steam system that will solve your wrinkle problems within minutes. Now, a lot of you all listen to this show. You singers, you're performers, you travel a lot, you're on and off airplanes, in and out of airports and hotels, and sometimes you just don't have the time to get the wrinkles out of your clothing. Maybe you're a business owner and you travel a lot to do business. Maybe you're a DJ like DJ Shorty Smooth, or maybe you're heading out to one of these fantastic cruises that you've been hearing about right here on Morning Inspiration Radio Show, and you don't have time to tackle those wrinkles. Well, today's guest has a phenomenal product that will show you how to do it in minutes, and somebody's going to be a lucky winner today because I personally am going to purchase and give away one InstaSteam starter packet for some lucky listener who's always on the go. Courtesy of Morning Inspiration Radio Show, provided by today's awesome guest, the creator of InstaSteam. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for my special guest right after this. Keep it locked. You're tuned into the best inspirational show on your internet. Morning, Morning Inspiration. Hosted by Dial Tone, the producer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my special guest is live on the phone, and uh, we've been talking about his product all show long. A lot of people are excited because there's two major cruises that is coming up that Morning Inspiration Radio Show is affiliated with. So people are going to be doing some traveling and uh I, for one, just got back from St. Louis and had this problem. So if I had the product prior to this show, I would have been straight. But it's all good. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put your hands together for the creator of InstaSteam, none other than Ari Hirsch. Welcome to Morning Inspiration Radio Show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. No problem. Now, you have a product that helps people in need. And and like I said uh, a little bit ago, I went to St. Louis uh, last week, and I was getting ready to get dressed for the event I had to MC. And one of the shirts that I felt was like the centerpiece to my little ensemble was extremely wrinkled. So much so that when the the, the driver came to the hotel to pick me up, I had to kind of give him a, like give me like five minutes. Let me iron this out. So uh, this product is going to help people with issues like the one I had in St. Louis. Tell everybody how this product came about. All right. So, yeah. So um, to give you a little, you know, background on myself, you know, as a little kid, I was always uh, that kid that always wanted to grow up fast and um, just uh, always wanted to look, dress nicely and look good. And then, you know, fast forward to after high school, I'm now studying abroad and, you know, traveling Europe a little bit. And, you know, being in the dorms, you know, doing my own laundry and, uh, you know, steaming my own clothes and stuff. I had one of those, you know, iron and, you know, steamer combinations. And, uh, I, you know, I just realized, you know, it's, it's, it's really annoying to have to, you know, stand there and, you know, set up the ironing board or stand there going through each shirt alone and just, you know, steam them or iron them. And I was like, there has to be a better way to do this. Cause I, I would just, there's no way I could do this every single day. You know, I was dressing nicely most of the time and, um, you know, having dress shirts and, you know, certain clothes just get wrinkled, um, naturally. Um, so I, you know, I said there has to be a better way to do this. And that's when I, you know, came up with the idea for InstaSteam. And, um, I just, you know, I was like, if I could just, you know, have my clothes in my garment bag already, or, you know, just put it into the garment bag and it just steams for me and I don't have to do any work, you know, that would be amazing. It would save me so much time. You know, it'd be easy to take with me everywhere. Um, and you know, that's when I made a, a quick video. And, uh, you know, I sent it to my parents when I was studying abroad and showed it to a couple of my friends. You know, then I, you know, on the way on the plane home uh, from 
you know, studying, I uh, showed it to the person sitting next to me on the plane, and, you know, everyone was, you know, telling me it's a great idea. Um, so, you know, that's when I was like, you know, I'm going to make a prototype, and uh, I'm going to see, you know, if I can get this to work. And so, you know, I, after that year, I got home, and, you know, I, I sat down, and I, you know, I started, you know, figuring out how can I, you know, make this idea of having a shirt or any clothing steamed in a garment bag without you having to do any work. How can I make that come to life? And uh, that's when, you know, I started, you know, I started playing around and I, you know, I start, I tried putting coils in a garment bag. I, you know, I tried buying different things that can heat up water, um, you know, and I just kept working on it until I came uh, to InstaSteam, um, this amazing product that, you know, it starts steaming within 10 to 15 seconds, it's electricity free, non-flammable, it's eco-friendly, um, all these amazing things. And, you know, you're able to bring it with you anywhere because, you know, it's completely safe. And uh, it's it's super small. And, you know, I just kept working on it from there. So you created this phenomenal product that people can enjoy and use, especially if you're a traveler. <clears throat> if you're into business uh, and you do a lot of traveling, as I do for business, then this would be a perfect product for you. Now, what I want to do is before we get too heavy into the product, I want to rewind further beyond you studying abroad and coming up with this product. You grew up where and what in what area? I I grew up my whole life in Los Angeles. In uh, Los Angeles, born, yeah, born and raised. Okay, so as a young kid, were you always into inventing stuff, or was this something that kind of just you grew into it as you got older? No, I I mean I was I'm always I, I have very entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial uh, parents, and you know they both you know run multiple businesses, and you know I just I learned a lot from them. I grew up my entire life always wanting to you know, invent things, always wanting to own my own business. Um, you know, I have, I have my own book of ideas that I, you know, I write down everything that wow. I come up with. And, uh, you know, this was, you know, my, the first one that I actually uh, worked on. And, you know, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, do many more of them after wow. this. So when, yeah. you, when you're getting, like, uh, ideas for inventions or what, what is it that is, like, we know InstaSteam comes from a problem that you personally um, you know, experience, but these, these ideas in this book, are they just inspiration, imagination, or are you actually seeing more problems that needs a solution? Yes. I mean, so the, the way in, all the, most of the most successful products actually come to life by someone solving a problem. So I actually, most of my ideas in my book are, are either when, you know, I'm in a situation and I'm, and I, you know, I'm like, this is how I can solve that problem. So most of them are solving problems. You know, sometimes, um, you're just, you know, you're just thinking and you're like, you're, you think of problems or you think of cool products that you can come out with. But, but yeah, most of them are solving problems. That's, that's what a majority of the successful products um, are. So I'm, I'm reason why I'm asking you this is because there's a lot of people who listen, who wants to venture into entrepreneurship and they know they want to get out of working the nine to five. They know they want to start their own business, but the main reason why businesses are important is because, like you said, it's a solution to someone's problem. So for those of you who are listening that want to get into entrepreneurship, that is a great place to start. What is it that you can provide that will allow someone to overcome an issue or have an answer to a problem that they are willing to pay for? Now, growing up as a kid, a lot of us have this inside of us, whatever we're meant to do, but we often ignore it. Were there ever times where you were told by others to, you know, stop tinkering with everything, you know, come out and play, play basketball, or, or you just was always supported to and pushed to keep doing it? Um, you know, I, I, I had a balance. You know, I on my own time, I would, you know, maybe come up with ideas and write stuff down. But I was, I was pretty social. Also. I, I, played, I played sports. I played football. I played baseball. Um, so I definitely hung out with my friends a lot. So I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't really in the situation where I got told, you know, stop doing what I was doing. Um, so yeah, but I was definitely supported. Okay, great. So by you having this support system, it actually helped encourage you do so. Now, when you started getting into the point where you were pushing this product as far as actually making it be, become a reality, were there any like struggles you came across or any roadblocks? Yes, definitely. You know, there's definitely, you know, a few times where I was down, you know, something would go wrong or, you know, it just got really difficult. And, you know, I, you know, I sat down or, you know, even to my parents, I was like, you know, maybe I should just stop or, you know, maybe this is not going to work out. And, 
you know, you really just have to push through those times, you know, that, th- that's what makes you stronger. The, those, right. those times where you're, where you, where you're down and those hard times are, are what, you know, what make you stronger and you learn from those. Um, you know, so you, you listen to inspiration, you know, like morning inspiration radio and, um, or, and you just, you just have to really sit down and, and think about what's happening and, uh, just push through. What, 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 what was like that one thing that wouldn't let you quit? Cause obviously you didn't, we see the product and we actually, you know, can use it now, but what was the one thing that just kept saying, Eric, just keep going, keep going. Yeah. Um, you know, the one thing that just kept me going is you, you just have to have that drive. You have, you have to have that, that goal at the end. You know, I, I just, I always wanted to be successful. I, you know, I, I always wanted to help people and, you know, just, you know, I know, I knew this product was amazing and I knew this product can really help people. And, you know, even when you, when you're, when you're down and things are hard, you, you know, that you have to, you have to finish what you started. And, um, so yeah, and I just, you know, you just push through. So talk about, uh, getting beyond that point, right? So you kept pushing through, you, you kept working at it and tinkering with it. Like, at what point did you know that, okay, this product is definitely going to be a product and, I, and I've, I've accomplished getting over this hurdle? Like, at what point did you know that I'm going to make this happen as opposed to, you know, just hoping and wishing and keeping your fingers crossed? Um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, so the, the, the first, you know, majority of, of the year that I started this business, you know, I, I, you know, I made prototypes and, you know, I didn't have that much money to put into it. I started, I started this business before I actually got my first shipment. I only, I started with like six or $700 with all the, you know, with the money that I had in my bank account. You know, mm. I'm a college student. I don't have that much money to spend. I have a little background in, you know, web development and video editing. So I was able to, you know, do those things on my own and not have to spend so much money in it. Um, but yeah, so the, the, up until, you know, really, I, I started this business with six or $700. Um, you know, making prototypes of a website, commercials. Um, and then, you know, the, really when I saw that this was going to, you know, start taking off was when I was able to bring in my first investor to, you know, help pay for my, for shipment and, you know, make connections for me. Um, once I got that final product and I started, you know, having people test it and, you know, I was getting the feedback that I wanted, that's when I knew that, you know, this is a, a product that's going to work and people are actually going to love it. You know, wow. I, I was a little, I was in doubt a little bit before I actually got the product because, you know, I, I until then I was the only one that tested it. Maybe my parents tested it a couple times, mm-hmm. but once I was able to get it out there and I had, you know, multiple people testing it and saying, you know, that's amazing. You know, I, I was able to see my shirt, you know, as super fast. And, you know, that's when I, you know, knew it was going to start taking off and, you know, I continued to push and work harder to make it work. Amazing, amazing. People, if you're listening to this, this is what perseverance is all about. I think a lot of times when we we talk about success on this show, we always talk about the Tony Robbins, the Oprah Winfrey's, the, the Steve Harvey's. But one of the things that all these people have in common is they push past the struggles. And you're hearing another entrepreneur with the similar story of, yes, I had struggles, but guess what? I kept going. What was it like to see a customer actually experience your product and give you some feedback on it? Just honest, you know, truth about your product. What was that experience like? Yeah. I mean, so I was really scared in the beginning because, you know, you come up with an idea, you, you know, you, you love it and you know, you're passionate about your, your business and idea, but you don't know what other people are going to think about it. Right. And so it was definitely, I was definitely nervous going into, you know, giving people, giving it out to people and having them test it out. Um, but you know, after I felt amazing at getting feedback from people, you know, (laughs) also, you know, people, you know, especially because some of it was good feedback. Um, but even the, even if, even when you get some bad feedback, bad feedback is, is something that you you learn from it. It's it's actually, you you shouldn't be scared to get bad feedback, bad feedback, especially as a new company, because bad feedback tells you how to make your product better. Um, it shouldn't, it shouldn't put you down. Um, and you know, that's what, you know, my, my, I, I was told by my parents and my investors, you know, uh, I, I definitely, you know, it definitely hurts me a little bit when I get bad feedback because, you know, this is your passion and, you know, you're, you're getting told that, you know, there's, there's some negative things, but you know, you just have to know that those things are what help make your product better. And you just, you know, it might be bad now, but you know, you fix that and you know, the next person will think it's amazing. Um, you know what? Talk, talk about that a little bit more because that's something that most of us do when we go into something new. Now, you got to understand, if I'm going into something new, 
I don't know much about it because it's new to me, but we always expect to excel and succeed at it. You know, what is the reality that, that people have to embrace when you're embarking on something new and someone probably does give you, you know, bad feedback? Should people go into these things with high expectations or how should their, their expectations be as they're growing with their, their business? Um, well, you definitely have to go into your business, you know, with a, a positive mindset and, know, and you know, thinking that you're going to be successful and, you know, pushing as hard as you can. But you definitely have to go in knowing that, you know, you might be coming in with this idea, but everyone thinks differently. So right. you, might be, you might have this design that you like or you might, you know, think that this works best for you. But in reality, you know, for another person, it might, they might like it differently. Right. And you just have to, you, that's what you have to know um, because if you go in with the mindset – there are people that start businesses and they go in, you know, blindside and then and they, and they, they think that everything that they do is right because it's their business, but you have to go in, um, listening to other people. Other people are what make your business. You know, you're, you're the, you're the guy that's, you know, that's running the business, but other people are what tell you what they, what they want and you know, what you should be doing to make your product the best for them. Cause you're, everyone else is your customers. You're not your own customer. You're making, right. you're making this product for everyone else. And that's why you have, <laughs> That's a good point. I like that. You're not your own customer. Good point. Now, now talk about the the importance of relationships, because I, I for one, believe that if you're going to have a successful business, you got to create relationships with people who add to your product. You know, how important was relationships to you in putting this product together? Relationships are one of the most important things, you know, especially as as a as a young kid you know you know you you don't know, you don't have that many connections you know you might know a person there a person there but you don't know anybody you know when you're coming out the product it's it's important to have connections to be able to get into stores to be able to maybe put in hotels or cruise lines and stuff like that you really have to make amazing connections and um you know it's it's really important that you know in the beginning you know if, if some people have a bigger ego than others or you know you might be a little cocky but you know, you just, you have to take every single meeting you can get. Like there's some meetings where you're going to be like, you know, I don't know if it's, if this guy is really going to help me, but you just got, you got to take those meetings because you never know what's going to come for it. I definitely, you know, took meetings where I thought that, you know, I didn't think anything would come from it. And, you know, it ended up being that one of those meetings actually helped me a lot. Um, so every connection that you can make is important, whether you think it's important or not, you, you take every connection you can get in the beginning. You know, once you get a little bigger and, you know, you get moving, you know, then you can start to decide, you know, what, what's important and what's not important. But right. in the beginning, everything is important. Now, what about someone who uh, is hearing, you know, this this story unfold and, and getting ready to learn about this product that may have their own and, and is being inspired by your story as we speak? How would you caution them to know who's right for your business? Because a lot of times when we're new to something, you know, we don't know. Is Are you saying that it's best to just take every relationship and then eventually you can weed out the good ones and the bad ones? Or should we already have our guards up coming into it? Um, well, you definitely have to have your guards up because as, as a new product, you definitely have to be careful. You don't, you know, you don't want to get ripped off. You don't okay. want to, you know, get messed over in the beginning. Right. But you, you, you have to, there's a balance. Like you, you, you can put your guard up a little bit, but you can't put it up too much because, um, and you, you don't really have that that luxury to you know decide what meetings you want and what meetings you don't because you don't know like especially if you don't have the connections you you don't know what which one is going to you know make your product big and which one's not and you know but you, you know you don't you don't have that luxury in the beginning you really you know once you get bigger you could you can you could decide you know i want to take this meeting i don't want to take that meeting right right you, you have the ability to do that and you're selling it already you're making money in the beginning you don't really have that luxury because you know, you don't have the connections to be able to just pick and choose. Right. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to what he's saying, there's a lot of learning and educating going on throughout this process of becoming a household name product, becoming an inventor, uh, 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 entrepreneur, solopreneur, whatever you want to call yourselves. You know, one of the things that he's talking about is being open to opportunity, but being smart enough to weed out what is not supposed to be. Now, talk about something that a lot of people don't connect to their business. And I see it all the time, especially when people call into the show and talk about what they're doing. Um, and that is passion. Because 
if you have these areas where you're building relationships, you don't know who's who, uh, you're having ups and downs, you know, you, you're having moments where you feel like quitting, is passing something that you use to keep you connected to this this uh, project? Um, yeah, you know, definitely one of the most successful, you know, some of the most successful businesses and products, you know, you, yep, you, you see that those people had a passion for their business and product. Right. Um, if you don't be- if you don't believe in it, that's not going to happen because you know, number one, you know, if you don't believe in it, you know, any hard times you're going to give up. Mm. You know, you just you don't believe in it in the, in the first place. Um, and if you don't believe in it, you're not going to be able to sell other people on it. Wow. You know, how, how how can you sell something that you don't believe in? Wow. It's, it doesn't it doesn't work. So <laughs> you definitely you have to believe in your product and business. That is powerful. If you don't believe in it, how can you sell it? And you know, I. I think people really need to grasp that because folks are are persuaded by what you say and what you believe in. And if you're talking about something that you don't feel is worth the amount of money or worth somebody spending money on, people can feel that energy from you. So now when you were uh, going through your, your, your process of getting this off the ground, you were making the connections, uh, you, you finally got somebody to, to – what they call validate the product, you know, by purchasing it from you. At what point did you realize, okay, I am now in a place where things are getting ready to go up after all of this stuff happened? Like what was that defining moment where you said to yourself, this is a real legit product that is going to take off? Um, you know, the, the first, the first step was, you know, getting an investor, and mentor, you know, to really, you know, to put in some money and, you know, help me get my first shipment. You know, then I get my first shipment. You know, I'm I'm actually sitting in my warehouse with, you know, I have workers that are, you know, packaging it. I have my an actual product now. Wow. You know, that's that's the next step. You know, it's that's an amazing feeling to be sitting in your own warehouse yeah. with a product that you made. Yeah. That was just an idea a year ago. Yeah. Um, and then you know, it's it, there's steps. You know, you you get excited at every step. Um, so. You know, it's the first step is getting the investor. Then you're sitting in your warehouse with your product. Then, you know, you start, you sell a couple of them. And then, you know, and then now I'm selling it all over the world and, and, you know, Australia and Italy and Israel and, and the, all over the United States, you know, you know, all, there, every step is exciting. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, uh, you know, there's not, there's not one step that makes you think that, you know, now it's going to be successful. You know, every step that every next step that you reach, you know, makes you feel more and more comfortable. That's going to be successful. Um. And, you know, it's just it's just the passion and you just have to keep working on it and you can't give up. Um, you, you have to know from the beginning that you're not going to give up and you're going to you're going to you're going to make this product work no matter what. Um, so it's not just it's not at some point I now think that it's going to work. I know from the beginning that that I'm going to make this product work. And that's the mindset you have to go in with. I like that mindset, knowing from the beginning, because a lot of people are skeptical of their own, you know, journey from the beginning but you're saying i have to know it with a surety yeah. from the beginning i like that so people that's listening whatever it is that you're doing whatever that you're getting ready to get into this is something that and, and we say this all the time your imagination is your reality covered up no one knows about this like no one knew what steve jobs had in his mind until he unfolded it and the world was able to partake in it so we're looking at the same thing now with this product so how important is imagination to you i know it has to be if you're an inventor do, do you still you know highly esteem your imagination or is it because i'm older now i have to be more serious and more business minded how important is imagination no, I, I, imagination is important. That's how you come up with products. Is you have to be able, you have to be able to imagine what's not there yet, and you know that's how you come up with a product. But you know, at the same, you know, you do mature a little bit, and you know, you're now running a business, so you you have that maturity. But, um, you know, but at the same time, you definitely have that imagination um, to come up with your ideas. Right, right. So imagination is key, and we did a a post on the morning inspiration Facebook page about that. A lot of people don't realize, like. People may not agree with everything you do. Have you ever had someone like say, you know what? I think that idea is stupid, but you felt, you know, strongly like, no, I'm going to keep pushing this. Or was there always someone that says, you know what? I like that idea. You know, have that ever happened? Um, yeah, I definitely, I've had ideas where, you know, people would put it down or be like, you know, there's something too similar already. Um, you know, even with Insta Steam, you know, I, there's, there's probably a couple of people that might've been like, yeah, that's all right. Or, you know, 
there's definitely those times where you get put down or but you know you can't let there's always going to be those people you know they always have people out there that are going to write those negative reviews and you know that are not going to like it but mm -hmm. as long as most it, all that matters is that you, you, most people like it i don't those few people are, are you can't let those people put you down you know that's what kills businesses is you know is you know letting the, those the, that small percentage you know put you down that's when right a bigger percentage that likes it that's right so ladies and gentlemen this is all great stuff um now Let's get into this product because, uh, like I said, there's a lot of people who listen to this show who do an awful lot of traveling. Some of you all I know personally. Some of you all I met through the show. Um, some of you all I met in my travels, right? Um, and this is very big for a lot of you all. Our wardrobe is a key part, especially if we're doing business trips. Like I said, there's a cruise coming up in 2019 uh, for two different um you know, companies. And a lot of people want to get, be able to get dressed and not have to worry about, you know, taking time to, you know, press their clothes or whatever the case is, or this can even help them with cleaning bills and different things of that nature. Tell everybody how this product works. So I, originally I came up with this product because I was, you know, traveling and I was studying abroad. So my, the first, my, my initial idea was, you know, this is an amazing travel steamer. Um, but, you know, as I developed it, I realized, you know, this, this is for everything. Like, I, I, I've been using it at home. I've been using it when I travel. I use it everywhere. You know, it's small enough that I could take it anywhere. It's electricity-free, so I don't have to worry about plugging it in or batteries or anything. Um, so I could take it anywhere with me. Um, and and it's, it's, I, 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 de I developed this product to really, you know, work for everybody. I wanted a price point where, you know, it's very competitive with, you know, dry cleaning and buying a steamer or iron. Um, because it's it's so much more convenient. So this pro it, this it technically is like a, a mini dry cleaner, if, if mm -hmm. you will. You know, um, you know it doesn't it doesn't won't get out stains for you. But you know, steam and the, this product naturally deodorizes your clothes because of the heat and the steam. Um, so really, you could put in if you don't have stain on your clothes, you know, you could put it in and use Insta Steam, and it'll you know it'll steam it and it'll deodorize it at the same time. And you know, we're, we are going to be launching soon. Um, you know, the scented Insta Steam pot, so you can actually pick your scent, you know, oh, wow. if you want your clothes to smell good. Cool. Um, that, that's coming out soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a portable steamer that takes the wrinkles out of your clothes. I love the fact that you don't have to use electricity. So that means you could be in an Uber, and if you can hang up your garment bag, you can drop that pod inside the bag, zip it up, and by the time you get to where you're going, your clothes is wrinkle-free, and you also said it's eco-friendly, correct? Yeah, it's eco It's all made up of all natural minerals. You know, it's disposable, um, so we, we, it's definitely eco-friendly. So that means you don't have to worry about harming, you know, uh, the, the environment or putting harmful chemicals in your clothes, which is another good thing. Now, one of the things that I love about this is that uh, there's a, a, a startup packet. Talk, talk to them about that. Yeah. So we, right now our, 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 what we're promoting and our most popular thing is the Insta steam starter box, uh, which comes with four Insta steam pods and a garment bag. You now we have, we, we have a special garment bag that's made of a, you know, a certain material that lets the steam stay in because if you let the steam escape, it doesn't work as well. So it comes with the garment bag. Um, and, uh, you know, that's the starter box, you know, cause you know, pe people that haven't used it yet don't have the garment bag and, you know, they kind of want to try it out. Um, so the Insta Steam starter box is what most people are buying right now. And then we do have the, the options on the side where you could buy the refills, you know, three at a time, five at a time, or however many you want to buy. Um, so now people are buying these products from an actual physical location or is it a website? How will people get, you know, their hands on the product? So right now we're just online. We haven't, we're not in any stores yet. We're, we're working on that, you know, at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's on, it's on Amazon. It's on our website. You know, it was on Indiegogo. Um, and, you know, we're, we're going to, we're working on, we're going to be on a couple of big retailers soon. Hopefully we're working on getting into a couple of big retailers online. Um, so uh, the options are growing, but, you know, Amazon is one of the biggest things right now. So um, we are selling on Amazon so you can buy it there and, and our website also, our website is the cheapest. So, um, I, I would tell people to go there, especially because <laughs> we have the, the discount going on. Right, um, right. But but if you feel comfortable using Amazon, it's on Amazon. Um, yeah. If you but if you if you follow Insta Steam, you know you'll watch it pop up in a bunch of different places. We're working on getting it on, onto cruises soon. 
and uh, also hotels. Great, great. So this falls right in line with what a lot of people are getting ready to do. Uh, I have more events that I got to do coming up. Um, so this will be a product that I will be using. And there's something special that Morning Inspiration Radio Show is doing, partnering up with InstaSteam. We're going to give away a free starter box to one lucky winner. And I'm going to tell you all how to do that as well as we're going to provide the link on our website for you all to be able to purchase this, but you're going to get a special discount. Tell them about the discount. Yeah. So uh, especially for morning inspiration radio, we're, we're making a 10% discount. Um, when you put in the code, you know, we already have a, a 40% discount for the holidays on our website. And with you know, with if you're listening to Morning Inspiration Radio, um, and you you listen to the code, you're going to get an extra ten percent off of that. So this is a win-win for all of my travelers. Uh, like you said, this is the holiday season. A lot of people's going to be going out of town for Christmas. Uh, you know, still you got uh, New Year's Eve coming up, and then afterwards you got all of this. Uh, what is it? February. You got a. Uh, uh, Valentine's Day and Sweetest Day and all these different things where people are going to be taking their sweetheart out of town. This is all a perfect way to keep your clothes intact. So for all the people who were listening to this show last week and they were asking, you know, how can we get involved? How can we, you know, be more a part of the show? I have a special contest that I'm going to bring up in a minute uh, once my guest is, is is done with his interview. But we're going to talk about a way for you to be able to get this product and how you can be a part of the show. Now, here's what I want everybody to do. If you are interested in learning more about this product, you can go to what is the website? You can go to instasteampod.com. Instasteampod.com to learn more about the product or even to purchase the product but again one lucky listener is going to win their very first starter box courtesy of morning inspiration radio show and if you was to go to the website and enter in this code for morning inspiration radio show what is the code the code is going to be mis for morning inspiration oh i'm i'll we'll do mir mir morning inspiration radio and then you do mir 10 percent, and okay. you'll get the discount so it's M-I-R-10, M-I-R-10%, percent. got it, to get yeah. this this uh, discount off of a already large discount. So this is great for the holidays. Ladies and gentlemen, you all need to jump on this. I'm already going to jump on it for myself. Now, real quickly, before I let you go, there is something that I do with all of my guests here at Morning Inspiration Radio Show, and that is a simple question I ask. Uh, you got a lot of entrepreneurs, solopreneurs who listen to this show. You got a lot of people who have great ideas and don't know what to do. If you could say anything that will encourage the listeners, regardless what it is, what would that be? Well, as an entrepreneur and, you know, if, and to all the entrepreneurs out there and, you know, business people, um, you know, so, you know, come. You know, I think that you know, coming up with your own business is you know is amazing. It gives you the opportunity to, you know, get out of that nine to five and make your own schedule. And you have endless limits. You know, you're not limited to that nine to five, that salary. So I, you know, solve that. You know, come up with that solution for a problem. You know, d don't give up. You know, push through the hard times. Those hard times are what what keep are what what you learn from and what keep you going. Um, and you know, the, the the most important thing is is to never give up. And, you know, learn from your mistakes. Learn, I, I, I can't say enough that, you know, when, the, when your mistakes happen, when those bad times happen, you know, you're down, but you realize the next day or even a little bit later on that, you know, you're happy that those mistakes happen because you just, you, now you're better. Mm. Um, so that's really important is to learn from your mistakes. I like that. Learn from your mistakes. Uh, now, real quick, before I let you go, learn from your mistakes. Most people look down on their mistakes. So, you know, what is it that people could actually learn from a mistake? Um, well, you know, there's different types of mistakes, but, you know, when you make a mistake, it's because you don't know something or, you know, maybe it was by accident. You did something wrong. Right. But when you when you make that mistake, you in your it, it, it might hurt you so bad that you're like, I'm never going to let that happen again. And you're going to you're now you're going to know what to do. Right. Um, so you're actually 
making yourself stronger by making that mistake. Good. Um, you, you know, if, if you, a lot of the most successful people, you know, you'll hear, you'll hear, you'll hear them say that, you know, you know, it's, it's good to make a mistake. You're not going to be successful unless you make a mistake. You know, obviously you don't want, you know, you shouldn't aim to make a mistake to be successful. You know, if you could be successful without making mistakes, that's amazing. But, you know, mistakes are what really make people successful. You know, it's, it's hard to be successful without making mistakes because, you know, you're just going to get cocky and, you know, you're not going to know what you're doing and you're not going to learn. Right. You know, mistakes, mistakes are what teach you. Right. That's a good way to put it. Mistakes are what teach you. I always tell people when you're going through something, that's the classroom. A lot of people think I'm being tested when I'm going through. No, you're not being tested. You're being taught. The test is what he's talking about. Once you get everything to work out right and to line up, can you maintain that? That's your test. So you're learning while you're making those mistakes. Very, very, very great advice. And I think a lot of people have learned a lot from today's interview. Now, tell people how they can get in contact with you. We have a lot of great supporters of Morning Inspiration who are on social media. Maybe they want to follow follow you on like a Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or something like that. Yeah. So, um, our, our Facebook and Instagram are pretty, are the same. It's Insta steam pod. You know, you just, you know, add Insta steam pod, our Instagram and Facebook. And then Twitter is Insta steam, just regular Insta steam. Um, and then, you know, if you want to contact the company, we, you know, you contact info at Insta steam or, you know, we even have uh, a customer service. We have WhatsApp and a phone number. You can call 818-821-0732. Um, so whatever, whatever you want. All Any right. Yeah. So you can keep up with this, this, this company. You can find out more about the products, the deals that they got coming out. Um, and, and make sure you let them know, like, listen, I listened to you on morning inspiration radio show. I was encouraged by your story and follow him on Instagram at Insta Sting Pod on Instagram and Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give a big round of applause to my special guest, Ari Hirsch, the creator of Insta Sting, right here on Morning Inspiration. Thank you so much for being on today's show. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. 